this week on Softball 360. Special guest hosts Rusty Bumgardner and Johnny McCraw take a break from softball and team up on the golf course. Rusty Bumgardner's lining up the putt. Five dollars a hole going now. And then get in the game with Team Tangletown Financial as they travel to Bismarck, North Dakota for the biggest softball tournament in the country, the McQuay. After that, the Long Haul Bombers put on a home run show before a Minnesota Twins game. And finally, the Japanese national fast pitch team makes the long trip to Oklahoma City for the first ever World Cup of Softball. All that, hitting tips, and more, next on Softball 360. You me start? Sorry, sir. You ready? Yeah. Hello there, Softball 360. We're at Fox Hollow Golf Course in Minnesota. Uh, special guest host, Rusty Bumgarner, along with myself, Johnny McCraw. If you've seen earlier on some shows, me and Rusty had a little miniature golf outing, and now it's the real deal on the, on the golf course. We got two A-gamers over here, big Easton Challenge over here. Scott Brown, Brett Helmer, you all know them. <laughs> that is high. We're going to check out the World Softball League in Bismarck, North Dakota. In a community the size of 70,000 people, you might not expect Bismarck, North Dakota to be the site of the biggest softball tournament in the country. But over the past three decades, the Sam McQuaid Senior Charity Softball Tournament has skyrocketed. It now plays host to over 400 teams every summer. One such team is Tangletown Financial from the Twin Cities. We followed Tangletown and their star shortstop Jeff Keel as they competed in the World Softball League Mike and Championship Qualifier. Team got a bus together. Uh, we all bust out to Bismarck. It's definitely the atmosphere that draws the, uh, the teams to McQuaid's. When you get there Friday, there are just people everywhere. We had the late game Friday night and uh, by the time our game got started, uh, both sidelines were full of people, uh, the whole, almost the whole outfield uh, fence was surrounded by people, so just a big, big party. The cool thing is, is they let you bring in coolers into the tournament, which a lot of tournaments don't do, um, so you can bring in all your own beer, food or whatever, um, and so you get a lot of families and a lot of people just coming in and staying the whole, the whole night, the whole evening, and then after, we're, after our game they had the home run hitting contest and they had some of the Long Haul Bombers and stuff there to put on a show. Then we played uh, Saturday morning. Hey, swing and strikes, guys. Let's get the 35. Hey, yeah. 35. One, two, three. Table. All right, let's go here, top. Come on now. Hustle. I'm definitely a hustle kind of getting dirty kind of guy. I play shortstop. Um, I'm usually diving at balls all the time. Even if I don't have a chance at them, I'm probably getting dirty anyways if it's near me. We have a pretty diverse group. We have guys that are in their early 20s and we have guys that are, you know, uh, a little older. <laughs> I think these games are too tight. These guys make me too nervous for an older guy. <laughs> We're a fairly new team. I think we have a lot of talent. Um, we haven't, we definitely haven't reached our potential yet. Guys, get in here. Nobody's intense. Everybody's on their heels. Get in there, hit the ball hard, swing hard, play hard. You guys want to drive seven hours to be done on Saturday night? Let's Come on, sport, let's go! Let's get up! Hitter's go, game, go, hitter's go. game, let's go! go. Come on, hitter's get game! Up. Time to go, guys. Go. Let's One, go. two, three, Time take it! I don't know, you know, I, I know a lot of guys do have goals. Uh, they want to win a national championship or whatever. Uh, I've never really set any. I just want to go out and play hard and have fun and win and uh, have fun winning. Just wish uh, we could have played longer and I could have improved my bat. But all in all, it was a fun time. Good tournament, a lot of fun, a lot of people there, big party. My name is Jeff Alexander. I'm the news director for Country 1130 KBMR Radio, and it's certainly a pleasure to be here at the 30th annual Sam McQuaid Sr. Budweiser Charity Softball Tournament. Coming up next, 
We'll go behind the scenes with Team Japan as they come to America for the first ever World Cup of Softball. But first, the Long Haul Bombers take over the Metrodome in Minneapolis. Oh, are you kidding me? This is one of the best pregames that we have year after year. And, of course, guest hosts Rusty Bumgarner and Johnny McCraw show us why they won't be two sports superstars anytime soon. So here we are on hole number six, and me and Rusty are getting drilled right now. Softball 360. It's my team. Softball 360 is brought to you by Mike and Sports. We'll change more than your game. Trump, the official ball of the WSL. And BatReviews.com, your best source for new bat information. The year was 1972. ASA National Softball Hall of Famer Don Arndt was the first and only player from a fourth place team to be named MVP in a men's major slow pitch national championship. Do we have enough gas in our car for that? Negative, Ghost Rider. That's why they sell them by the 15 You guys are already on your second. <laughs> Welcome back, softball fans. We're out here, as you can tell, golf's really not our game today. Whoa! I heard tree. Did he catch that tree down there? Uh, but make sure you tune in. You see the boys hit at the Metrodome. Great place to hit. I love hitting over there. We always put on the shows. And I hope we're hitting better there than we are here today. Here we go again. We're at the Metrodome in Minneapolis for this stop of the Long Haul Bomber Stadium Power Tour. Who will own the Metrodome? Let's find out. Get out of my face with that camera in the mood for it. The Long Haul Bombers got their start here at the Metrodome back in 2002 in what was supposed to be a one-time exhibition. Now, just three years later, they're performing in Major League Stadiums across the country. But each season, the Bombers can't wait to come home to the Dome. They're not the only ones excited. Oh, are you kidding me? This is one of the best pregames that we have year after year. This is what, our third or fourth year? And I'll tell you, the players love it almost as much as the fans. All our players will be down here watching this because this is great excitement. You know, we don't have Barry Bonds in town. We got the softball hitters, and you know what? They can hit more home runs than Bonds. <laughs> this time around, it was a showdown between Team Easton and Team Combat. Swinging for Easton would be Brett Helmer and hometown favorite Scott Brown. And for Combat, R.J. Howerton and Johnny McCraw. That is, if McCraw could find his way to the field. Hey, this is Johnny McCraw coming to you live from the Humphrey Metrodome in Minneapolis, Minnesota. As you can see, the rest of the guys have uh, already walked in. As for me, I hit five last week in Houston, so I get to stand outside. They won't even let me in the stadium this week. So how do you think you fared? Terrible, absolutely crap. So uh, I'm gonna keep scratching and clawing. Maybe they'll let me squeak through the door here shortly. Up first was Easton's Brett Helmer. Helmer won last year's home run derby championship right here at the Metrodome. And tonight, he showed everyone why. A band that the ball flies so well to the right field here at the Dome. Uh, Helmer's got to be the odds-on favorite to win. Helmer blasted bomb after bomb into the upper deck seats in right field, including the money ball, and finished with 9,000 points. Then it was time for R.J. Howerton. The big guy from Texas had his usual stellar performance. He knocked out eight big bombs plus the money ball for 10,000 points. Started off a little slow, hit a couple of humpies there. Uh, finally found my rhythm and uh, ended up in the money ball in the last four or five in a row, which was uh, good for me and Team Combat. Following Howerton was hometown boy Scott Brown. With mom and dad watching from the stands, Brownie wanted nothing more than to outshine the competition. He got on a roll early, but just couldn't hit out his final few pitches. He ended up tying Howerton with 10,000 points for a share of the lead. It feels great being here. It feels great being in my hometown. We got a lot of people here coming to watch me uh, tonight, and uh, feel real good. Finally. Combat's Johnny McCraw stepped to the plate. And McCraw started strong. He blasted out nine quick bombs, but his hot streak would end right there. McCraw finished with 9,000 points. You know, I had five swings left at 9,000 to get 1,000 more points. A little disappointing, but uh, hey, better than last week. It's a good outing, great atmosphere. 
I kind of fell off the wagon there at the end, but uh, all together it was a good night. For the first time this season, the teams ended with a tie. Easton and Combat both walked away with a solid 19,000 points each. There are just two stops left on the Long Haul Bombers Stadium Power Tour. The competition is as close as it's ever been. Make sure to tune in each week to see who will be crowned home run champion at Bank One Ballpark in Arizona. Here we go again. I'm the 2004 Triple Crown winner, Jeff Hall. Here are my tips on how you can become a better hitter. The last thing here is the finish, which is probably the mo one of the most important things to softball. You see a lot of people that get up in the box, they grab the bat, they've got everything ready, everything looks good. When they swing, they hold on to the bat with two hands. A good finish, and a finish that I do, is when I make contact, I go through it, and when you finish, you want to let that back go. You want to get them hips as much in them and torque and twist as much as possible to get that finish in there. <laughs> Up next on Softball 360, now that you've seen Brett Helmer put on a show at the Metrodome, we'll get to know this long haul bomber a little better. Does that just mean you have more muscle, more power? Yeah, I mean, I'm. You know, I'm a little fat, but I mean, there's all kinds of muscle in there and everything. He's but first, we'll get a behind the scenes look at Team Japan. So, the total of 360. I'm This week, Tom Hilden writes I've seen a lot of top softball players use an overlapping grip on the bat. What are the benefits of this grip? Long haul bomber RJ Howerton answers that question when we return. As far as grips go, I actually do the overlap grip. I uh, drop my pinky over on my bottom hand and then overlap my two fingers, my bottom two fingers, onto my bottom hand there and lock it down with my thumb. This allows me to have a little more bat speed and uh, seems like I get a little better extension. And if I'm trying to hit home runs, it seems like it adds a little distance for me. You know, all this waiting on trying to find these guys' balls every hole is getting a little old already. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Welcome back, softball fans. Here we are on hole number six, and me and Rusty are getting drilled right now. <laughs> <laughs> Shot, John. Take a look at these guys yeah, over here cheesing over and talking smiling. junk. Y'all having fun yet? Oh, Three to the T-Box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's oh, real, that's just great. No, but welcome back. We're out here. We're still having a good time. Uh, and uh, next you'll uh, see the World Cup fast pitch women. <laughs> My name is Yukiko Ueno, uh, pitcher Team Japan. My name is Daito Tanaka, uh, Team Japan assistant coach. My name is Eri Yamada, uh, Team Japan outfielder. Japanese team, head coach Ikawa. Wakai kata ga oukute, kidouryok ga atte, subarashi team desu. えっと、まだ若い選手がたくさんいて、これからあの北京まで<笑><笑> People is nice, a uh, good place, uh, many, many software fun. I have a fun, okay? My name is Dan Bridgeforth and I'm the local host for Team Japan. They've treated me like royalty, I couldn't complain. They've given me gifts, they've given my daughter's gifts, it has been fun. え、迷う、いっぱいいる。<笑><笑> 
Bruce Springsteen. Of course. Yes. Let's go. I hope that they have a great deal of success today, even if it is against Team USA. なかなかですね、ワールドチャンピオンの USA ですからね、もう少し盛り上げて、えー、選手を激励したいと思います。はい。Thank you. Goodbye. Coming up next, get to know last year's home run derby champion Brett Helmer. Find out what makes him one of the top softball players in the game. Does that just mean you have more muscle, more power? Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm a little fat, but I mean, there's all kinds of muscle in there and everything. And finally, Rusty Bumgarner and Johnny McCraw finish up one very long day on the golf course. So we're going to be glad to get up out of Minnesota. Hi there, I'm Bernie Profato, a member of the ASA National Umpire staff. And here's today's play situation. In fast pitch softball, the batter hits an illegal pitch and reaches first base safely. The runner from second is thrown out at home plate. The coach from the offensive team comes to the umpire and wants the umpire to enforce the illegal pitch rule. Is the coach correct? You make the call. You're watching Softball 360. And here's the ruling. No, the coach is not correct. They do not have an option for an illegal pitch in this case, since the batter and the base runner had both advanced the base. Welcome back to Softball 360. Uh, we're still here at Minnesota at the golf course, and uh, at, of course, we're still down three. This was the most lopsided mismatch in the history of golf, probably. Yo, <laughs> that is in the parking lot. And uh, next there's going to be a spotlight on Brett Helmer of Easton. Speaking of power, how about the next batter? Brett Helmer knocking a ball out of the stadium in the range of 511 feet. We hit a couple good ones. I know uh, Brownie hit one 480 and I got lucky and snuck one out there. They said 511 and I'll take it, I guess. Chalk one up for the fat kid. I'm uh, from a little town called Newport, New York, which is upstate. Um, most people probably wouldn't know where that is. Population is uh, tiny. A good community for athletics. Uh, a lot of people really behind our sports programs. Uh, I participate in basketball, baseball, and football all the way through school, right through high school. Uh, you know what, I think uh, nine or 10 would be a great number today. So that's what I'm shooting for, double digits. We'll be counting, good luck. Well, when Brett took the plate, he not only hit his mark, but he destroyed 11 bombs. You know what, this whole thing is just, it's a great experience um, to be able to come to all these major league stadiums and, the, and even these minor league stadiums and to get out there and, and to play and hit on the fields where all these guys you know, are on every day. It's a huge thrill for all of us. Um, an opportunity that, you know, we really thought we'd never have. And, uh, you know, having the contest last year, being in the inaugural year and going out and actually winning it uh, was just icing on the cake for me. But it was the sole lefty, Brett Helmer, who could not be touched. Helmer launched 12 bombs to win it all. After months of competing in ballparks all across the country, Brett Helmer took home a well-deserved trophy. It never gets old to go out and to be competitive. Um, I don't feel any different, you know, in my mid-30s than I did when I was in my 20s and playing the game. I, you know, I still try to prepare the absolute best I can, go out and give all I can to my teammates and sponsors because, we, you know, we owe it to each other and to them. Intimidation is legal. My goal in softball is, you know, just to go out and, and win championships and have a good time. I, I'm a firm believer if you're going to dedicate that much time and travel that much, and if you're miserable and not having a good time, you probably need to be doing something else. Goal in life is to uh, just maintain the great relationship I have with my family. 
Uh, my wife and I, Jennifer, are expecting our first child actually in about four or five days, so I'm sitting here a little nervous, but super excited. Can't wait to start our family, and uh, you know, just to provide for them and to take care of my family is really goal number one. Well, we just finished this brutal 18 holes out here. We got our lips beat off. <laughs> Not only did they beat us in the match play, but they also took $20 from us. The Team Easton boys just came out right from the first hole, had the tee box, never gave it up. I don't know if they can catch us. We're up seven uh, with uh, none to play. With none to play. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be glad to get up out of Minnesota. <laughs> no, just kidding. Had fun. Great time, man. Thanks for watching, and make sure and tune in next week to Softball 360. Arkansas has good people, and we live in this state off of rice and wild hogs. I only make a sound if a player do something outstanding. That's so just hitting home run outside the park or inside the park. Other than that, it's solid. Terrible, absolutely crap.